Good morning everybody. It's Saturday and it's been a while since I've vlogged actually. I feel like I always do like a stint and then I fall off the bandwagon. <laughs> but I'm here and um, I have some bits and pieces that I thought it would be nice to vlog this weekend, so that's what I'm gonna do. First thing I would just wanna say is I have just scraped my hair up today. My hair will probably look like this all weekend. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I cannot be bothered to sort my hair out. And when you have extensions, it does take a little bit longer. Lasts longer, but takes longer to do. So this is the, the pineapple updo that uh, I will be sporting, but First thing I wanted to start this morning that I've already like half tackled, okay, um, is this room up here, which I don't often show or come into, <laughs> um, but this is essentially like a storage room really. Um, it's got lots of inbuilt cupboards that we had put in and this was a room that I wanted to use as part of my office. So to put uh, product samples in and makeup and beauty bits and all the books I'd released and products and to be able to have everything like stored like in cupboards for easy access. If friends were coming around I could be like do you want you know, the newest Zoella Beauty collection. Um, and since I now don't do Zoella Beauty anymore, um, I don't really need the cupboards in the same way. I've obviously kept like bits and pieces from each collection as like keepsakes. <laughs> um, and I do have one cupboard that has any like leftover product that like friends and family can take or that I just keep using. But apart from that, a lot of empty cupboards and one thing that uh, I also often um, store in the cupboards is a lot of beauty, makeup, skincare, things that um, companies have um, sent like PR products and things uh, that I would usually like go to the cupboard and be like oh okay I'm gonna give this brand and this cleanser a little try, see how I get on, see if I like it um, and I had so much stuff that I just hadn't sorted out that it actually got a little bit ridiculous and overwhelming and every time I opened the cupboards I was just like I don't know what's in date, I don't know what was sent when, I don't know like if I'll ever have the time to use this many cleansers, like let's be real. Um, so I had probably the most ruthless sort out ever up here and just got rid of so many things so much of my makeup um that was just so out of date or that i'd had up here um in these acrylic drawers um and then through the summer last year it just melted so much of my makeup that i was like that's not i can't rescue that i was very ruthless i got rid of a lot of stuff and so with what's left and what i've kept I now want to kind of like arrange in some way into one of these cupboards, probably this one. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of that this morning. It's a rainy, miserable day, which most of April and May has been, which is really sad because this time last year, we had some of the most amazing weather. Oh, sorry, I'm so out of breath and I just, I'm so airy. <laughs> Um, this weather is just, it's not that inspiring, I have to say. Um, so what do you do on a rainy, cosy weekend day? A little bit of sorting out. And, uh, oh god, I really wish I'd found my tripod because my arm is like, where can I put you? <sighs> That'll do. Buffy and I have a list of things we really want to try and get done before baby arrives. I think we're both being very optimistic and I do think a lot of the things on our list aren't necessary at all. But I feel like, and I've talked about this before in many of Vlogmas, <laughs> before Christmas day, I always wanna feel like everything is tidy and in its place and I get a real sense of like tidy, tidy, home tidy mind and if I have a tidy mind I tend to enjoy things a lot more and I feel less stressed and more relaxed and if I felt like that at Christmas 
I feel it on a whole other scale when it comes to having a baby. Like there's so many things that I'm like, will we really do that once the baby's here? Probably not. Um, so yeah, we have quite a long list of like housey personal jobs that we really, really want to try and get done before she arrives. Whether we get them done or not is a whole other story and I'm not going to beat myself up about it if we don't, but it's nice to have a dream. <laughs> it's nice to have a bit of a plan. We can aim towards it, doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen. Um, but one of those things for me was to sort out this upstairs area a little bit more. Um, not that we're having the baby up here, um, as in like not as in giving birth up here, I just mean we're not, she's not going to be sleeping up here. <laughs> um, but we, she is sleeping in a room that was a spare bedroom, so we're now turning the room over there that used to be like a meeting room before Alfie and I had office space um, outside of the house. Uh, whenever I had like a meeting, people would come here and we would sit in that room there was like a big wooden table and lots of chairs in fact that is still in there um, and then it just became a dumping ground um, and a place where I stored like all my electrical items all my like filing um, it just it just became a room that was a bit redundant in the end um, so that is going to be another spare room with a sofa bed so we'd love to be able to get that sorted and that room is pretty much ready to be turned into a spare room at this point. The office room that um, currently has a desk for Alfie and a desk for me in it just needs a bit of a tidy up. I'd still like to keep that as my office space, especially like once I have the baby. I don't know how much I'm going to be going into the external office versus working from home. I have no idea. So I still think it's nice to have a desk space here. Um, so we just want to kind of like tidy that up a little bit. Yeah, that's all our uh, pre-baby plans that nobody asked for, but <laughs> I feel like if I say it out loud that I'm kind of holding myself accountable. So yeah, first things first, I just want to try and sort out some of this stuff that I want to keep. I've got so many empty acrylic drawers now because I was so ruthless with my makeup. Um, but also it's, it's the sort of thing that like, I don't know, but like four, five, six years ago, I genuinely spent so much time on my makeup and I would actually take the time to like rummage through and see what kind of different things I could do with my makeup that day. I feel like I was way more adventurous with what I put on my face and these days, not so much. I, I reach for what I know and I have a routine and I very rarely mix it up too much from that. I still do because I still love makeup and I still love like experimenting and I still get that like joy of trying something new but not as much as I used to so it's unrealistic of me to have this much stuff because I will never use it. If you'd just like to hop off my lap Nala. Anyway I'm gonna pan around so you can see what I've done here so far. I mean all I've done is made a mess but it's nice to have a before and after isn't it? Isn't it? Oi! Getting up and down is getting harder, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Bump update while we're here. 24 weeks, people. 24 weeks. <laughs> Why is it going so fast? <laughs> oh God. This is what I was sat in. Uh, this is what I'm keeping. Still looks excessive. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just need to sort of arrange this into here put things into these clear boxes. These are from Muji like years and years ago. I also have these ones, which were Muji, I think, the drawer ones. And um, we'll see how we get on, shall we? Before I do that, I don't really film up on the third floor too much, but just for context, you come up these stairs from the second floor, up, up, hello. Another little couple of stairs. Um, and then this is the, there's a bathroom in here, which has just got um, stuff to go to charity in it currently. Um, this set of stairs leads to nowhere, <laughs> a cupboard, um, which is just more loft space up there. But that is where, that is that staircase. It's really, there's nothing too wild going on up there. We don't have a, a secret um, fourth floor or anything. But a great hiding spot <laughs> and then this is the room 
that is going to be the guest room. Obviously at the moment this is very much kind of personal items and electrical things and then some stuff from the office. We have a picture rail here which I'm going to get rid of because I want to push a sofa back here. Um, a fridge which I'm going to sell I think. I don't know where or how um, but I just don't think I'm going to use this now. This will eventually become a kind of snug slash cosy chill room slash also sofa bed that turns into a guest bed if we need it. But this I guess you can use as the before. <laughs> Whether there's an after before the baby arrives, who knows. Oh and in here is our attic which is like a walk-in attic which is the best thing I was gonna say the best thing about this house, but it's definitely not. But it's one of my favorite things about this house is that it's like a normal door. You're not going up any creaky ladders. Um, it's like you just walk in. It's like another little room really. Um, so I love that. I think it's great because it's easy to access. Um, just if any of you are planning on building a house, I don't know, add that in. <laughs> tidying and then I <laughs> basically I've had a little dip in my blood pressure in the second trimester which is apparently quite normal but it does mean that if I try and do too much too quickly or <sighs> I get out of breath <laughs> I feel really like spaced out woozy wobbly have to just like lie down for a minute <laughs> so I started the tidying and then I was like I don't feel right <laughs> and I came for a little lie down. All the joys of pregnancy. <laughs> when I told my mum that my blood pressure had dipped, which I have spoken to my doctor about, um, so I'm not just like wildly guessing. She was like, oh yes, I had that with you and Joe. I was like, thanks for telling me. <laughs> just as I got my second trimester energy, it's all been taken away by the blood pressure. Apparently it can go back up in the third trimester. That's what I'm hoping for. It doesn't with everybody, but, but yeah, you just feel like a bit lethargic. And I had like one um, quite scary incident where I very nearly fainted and I've never fainted before. Joe is the sug that faints, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, but I've never fainted. So I'm laughing, but it was actually really terrifying. My anxiety obviously attached to that <laughs> and was like, yeah, you're never leaving the house ever again because what if that happens when you're there? Or what if that happens when you're here? Or what if that happens again and you're on your own? Or just, you know, the way the mind works. Um, but it's fine. I'm just making sure I don't push myself too much. So I'll attempt to tackle that at a slower pace, maybe a bit later on. But for now, I am very hungry, so I think I'm gonna go downstairs and make some lunch. So the weather took a slight turn. <laughs> it's like absolutely freezing and chucking it down with rain. It's actually stopped a bit now, so you're, you're able to hear me. But this part of my vlog is excitingly sponsored by Rana. Alfie and I both love and already eat Rana pasta. It's delicious, um, but they have these new kits that I'm really excited to share with you and they are so easy and so amazing. So I'm going to cook one of these for my lunch and you guys can see for yourselves. So these are the new kits. They come in these flavours. The premise behind these is that it's fresh pasta in five minutes. So if you're a busy person, if you've not got a lot of time in the evenings, if you're like me and you're not the best cook, um, you know, making something from scratch obviously takes way, way longer. Um, and I love my baking, but I think it's fair to say that in this house, 
Alfie Days does most of the cooking. So when I saw these kits, I was like, this sounds so up my street and they're fresh as well which is very exciting so with these kits rana have combined lots of high quality flavors and also made the um fresh pasta al dente so if you like an al dente pasta then you're gonna love this um but you don't lose any of the flavor um with it being in the microwave which is great so i'm gonna pick one of these for my lunch it's actually a tricky decision i think for my lunch i'm gonna go with the Tagatelli Bolognese. The kit comes like this. You open it. Lovely little slide. You've got the fresh Tagatelli. Step two, which is the Salsa Fresca Bolognese. And then three, you've got the Parmesan, the grated cheese, and you've also got the herb mix. And you can do it all in this which is great, a paper tray. Um, in the supermarket, you can't actually see what's included inside, so I thought it would be nice to show you. So you put the pasta in first, into your tray. Spread that out nice and even. Spread that guy out. Get them out there. So I'm just touching all your food. Yeah, get your hands <laughs> Alfie's already had one of these today. <laughs> Can't help himself, he went straight in. Pour the sauce on top. See, the good thing about this, legit, <clears throat> you get such a good you're size portion. portion. Size. I mean, yeah, because that's that. just my thing. So you get such a good whole portion size, but also there's a good amount of sauce on there. They don't sting out on the sauce, no. and that is crucial exactly. when it comes to pasta. Exactly. Give it a little stir. So you've coated all of the pasta. Pop the lid back on. And then I'm going to take it down to the microwave. You can come with me. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> I'm at the camera, but yeah, do you mind? <laughs> People are going to be like, why have you got your microwave in the basement? Oh yeah, it's slightly confusing. Our microwave's down here because it's just so massive. In it goes. Five minutes. Do you ever try and beat the timer? What do you mean? Do you ever try and get back down with one second left and then press stop? Yeah, I do. In my head, I'm like, oh, because I'm psychic, I'm going to know when it's going to go. <laughs> Three, two, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Done. The sun's coming out. This weather is... So unpredictable. Isn't it? Oh. Lovely jubbly. Pop the garnishes on so you've got the herb mix. And. The important part. Can't have pasta without parmesan. Oh, it smells so good. No! <laughs> no. Got way too eager. <laughs> I turned around, literally turned around for 10 seconds. I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, you've already plated I've it up. Plated, I've plated. I'm, I'm that hungry. Although Alfie likes to eat his out of the box. <laughs> it's such a nice little box. I just eat mine out of here. <laughs> Alfie eats his out of the box. Done. And that so is a lovely quick, portion. So easy. Fresh pasta. Amazing ingredients. Do you know this is going to be a lifesaver for us when we have a baby? Yeah, we're going to be living on it. <laughs> we're going to be living on these kits. Thank you, Rana. <laughs> Rana, if you could send a couple more in the post, because we are not going to have much time on our hands. And then obviously I'm going to do the taste test for you guys, even though I have already have one of these. But I just love pasta so much. Got my water. Got my pasta. Got my dog. Got my dog. <laughs> so, guys, if you love pasta as much as I love pasta, or maybe you're not the best cook, or you don't have the time to cook all the time, um, especially with this tagatelli bolognese, because a bolognese, we all know, requires how many ingredients? How much time? 
Like, that's just not something that I would ever usually go and cook from scratch. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe Alfie, not me. These kits are great, I love them. So, check them out. I can't believe it's now sunny after all that rain. It's so strange, isn't it? It's also, it feels really warm. Mm. Like, I feel really hot. Yeah, it does. But it was freezing a minute ago. Literally put a jumper on. I just realised we've got the new, um, we should put the the seat up or is it too soon are we being too keen no i think i think put up the baby things now because we're not going to want to put them up when she's here yeah but then people come around and we've got like baby things set up. we're gonna have a seat set up at our table in the kitchen we can keep it in the dining <laughs> no room baby for three months <laughs> but can she even sit in that for a while mm -hmm. oh there's a proper baby baby one not mm -hmm. like there's a newborn insert oh, okay perfect i was gonna say because if it's like a seat for when she's six months then we really can't put it up. Alfie and I have had some exciting uh, bigger baby deliveries. We've got a trip trap, which is what Alfie's talking about, um, which is like a high chair that you can use from newborn up to their like, I think up until their children. You probably fit in it. <laughs> Not, Not the newborn insert, yeah. <laughs> We've had a pram delivery. It's all it's all very exciting. Um, Moses basket. Yeah, we ordered a Moses basket. We think we know what we're doing with the nursery now, don't we? We've ordered a cot. Ordered a cot. Got the little mattress for the cot. No more clothes. Maybe. To anyone we know watching this. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. No more clothes. <laughs> We've got got too much. We've done that classic thing where we're first time parents and we've got really excited at the prospect of buying for a tiny human but we both want more children in the future true so we can use those clothes again equally true. if friends and family around us have any kids anytime mm -hmm. soon they can use the clothes as well very true alfie you know, days equally, really what we're doing fun. is future proofing <laughs> we're, we're convincing ourselves that we're future proofing <laughs> But actually, we've just, we've got too excited. Maybe I'll go up into the nursery in a bit and show you kind of our plans for colours and wallpaper. wallpaper. We've got a changing... We've got a changing table. Table. Ch Chester drawers thing. Although we don't have the little insert for the top of it yet. The actual changing mat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to order that off the same website, actually, because they yeah, had some nice ones. Hmm? I feel like you also haven't updated anyone recently about the office it's so nearly done i feel like you should be in this but you're not i'm kind of like half asleep and half awake the weather's i feel like that's a very feel... good way of describing my second trimester <laughs> yeah <laughs> i feel half asleep but half awake oh the weather's making me feel like oh we should stay in put the fire on and play some games oh no we should be out shopping it's lovely Oh no, we should like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm like, do I put on a cozy film and have a nap? That, that. Or do I go out? Sounds the dream. And go and get coffee in town. It's going to chuck it down again in like half an hour, isn't it? We can't imagine yet because we haven't, she's not born, of how much work it is to have a baby. But it's also a lot of work prior to the baby. Like one of our friends recently purchased their first property, a couple. And they're so excited. They bought the most beautiful one bedroom flat. Found out that they were having twins. Weren't able to stay in the one bedroom flat. And instantly had to move and rent a bigger flat. And like feel that. And feel it. <laughs> yeah. Before the twins were born. People like, move house like the week of, their baby's due. That's like. what I mean. There's a, um, there's a lot to get done beforehand. I said it's like, you know on mm. Christmas Eve when me and you were like, we want a tidy house before Christmas. I feel like it's that, but next, next level. Next level that, yeah. Like when I was younger, I just used to have, like to have my bedroom tidy and hoovered. Mm. Now, I'm, now I'm an adult, I'm like, I want my house tidy and hoovered. And now I'm having a baby, I'm like, I want everything. And they're not big things, it's just like... Some things are... No. Oh yeah, no, some of them are big things. But as in just things like we've got... 
Christmas wrapping paper in a box on the side there from when we were wrapping Christmas yeah, presents. Yeah, we just need to have away. some of it. We just Very have to small like small little things that tidy. we need to just do. It's the fifty percent big actual a lot of effort. Fifty percent the things that you just put off doing that you just need to do but aren't fun to do. Yeah, exactly. Just adult life, isn't it? We'll get it done. We'll get it done because there's no other choice. We'll exactly. Have to get it done. But we should do it as much as we can today. Yeah. Or I will. Bam, bam, bam. You join me in the nursery. I still haven't done anything with my hair and I'm getting these little struggly bits as the day goes on. Um, I have actually just had a really productive um, latter part of the afternoon. I finished my second round of book edits no third round i've forgotten what round we're on <laughs> there's so many rounds of book edits um for magpie society two for joy um so i'm really really happy with that as i was coming back upstairs i thought as i said i would um i would just show you where we're at <laughs> with the baby room um we've got a plan and we've taken everything apart. Obviously, this is the mattress that was in here on the bed. This is the chest of drawers that was tucked in to that corner. And this is the colour that it was previously, or is now, but we're going to change it. First thing to note, there's the bed. We don't really know where that's going to go yet. <laughs> um, first thing to show you is this. We've gone mid-century. Um, this is from, I think I actually ordered it on Pottery Barn Kids website, but it's actually um, from West Elm. And it's this really lovely acorn wooden changing um, chest of drawers. Chest of drawers with like a changing bit on the top. And it fits so well. And I love it. And I think when we've got like the wallpaper and the new curtains and it's gonna tie in <laughs> I have a vision and then eventually we're gonna fill them with all these little dividers and separators and then pop all her changing bits and pieces in there mattress for the cot which we have ordered but hasn't arrived yet and then colors and wallpaper we are thinking this one uh, from a brand called Ottoline I just love the colours in this. I love the dusky pink. I love the like orangey kind of um, mustard colour. Um, and then I thought with this, which is kind of, it's it's the Lick paint in blue 03, but it's kind of like a duck egg bluey green, um, which is very pretty. And then because these walls, well, you can't really see, but these walls and the ceiling are actually a really, really light grey. And I just wasn't sure that that would go with the white in the wallpaper. So we've also picked white O2 to do the ceiling and any of the walls that uh, we don't have wallpaper or paint on. Uh, but we're still kind of deciding where we want wallpaper, where we want paint. I definitely think these cupboards should be this colour. And the fireplace. I think that would look so good. Um, but we just need to work out how many walls we want the wallpaper on and little bits and pieces like that. But it's all very exciting. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I'm gonna have one of those classic Sundays, no makeup, chilled. Have brushed my hair today though, so there's that. <laughs> I was sat in the conservatory just having my lunch and I actually had another Rana pasta kit. <laughs> We've got a log burner in the conservatory and it's a little bit dirty from the last time we used it. Um, and it's one of those like weird, chores that I actually really enjoy doing. I find it really therapeutic and it's really satisfying when it's done. And I was just sat eating my lunch looking at the log log burner like, I really, I really want to clean that, which is very bizarre. Who, who wants to do that on their Sunday? But I actually really do. So I'm gonna start off 
my little Sunday afternoon. Hello. Oh, gonna start off my Sunday afternoon by cleaning the log burner. I basically know how to live on the weekends. <laughs> I know that we can be meeting up with people now and going out and <laughs> eating in restaurants, but why would you want to do that when you can clean your log burner? done very satisfying I can see myself in the glass perfect good evening <laughs> you join me I feel like the last clip you watched um, was me cleaning the fire <laughs> and then being really chuffed with myself forgot to pick up my camera after that but it felt weird to end the vlog just with a clean log burner <laughs> so you join me on an evening doing my nighttime skincare routine in this terrible light <laughs> maybe i should put the light up a bit that's better um yeah i just thought i'd run you through some of my skincare First thing I do if I've got makeup on is use this. I actually didn't wear any makeup today. I had a totally makeup free day. Um, but I saw Caroline Hirons, obviously, <laughs> talking about this in one of her IGTV or Instagram lives. And it's the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. And anything that Caroline says is like amazing instantly it goes into my basket. So when I saw her talking about this, I ordered it straight away. What about, I've already used like half the tub, um, but I use that to take my makeup off, but I don't have any makeup on right now. So I'm gonna use the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I love this cleanser. It is lovely. I've used it for years and then I'm going to use a little bit of the Dr. Robux Lifesaver Skin Brightening Toner. I love this toner and sometimes it's really hard to find and really hard to track down and it's always like sold out everywhere. So I think I've got like three of these, so they should last me a while. Um, and then I'll see what kind of treatment I want to put on my face for tonight. I do feel like the second trimester has been much kinder to my skin. Still isn't great, <laughs> but it's much kinder. I've still been getting like some spots, but they're not as um, sore or like vicious. Vicious the right word? Probably not, but we'll go with it. Going in with the toner. Alfie and I have just been watching Mayor of East Town, episode six, all kicking off. <laughs> so good though. Oh, another TV program that I must tell you about. If you didn't see my stories the other day, when Mark came over, we had like the perfect chilled afternoon slash day slash like two days where we watched Woman, Woman in the Window, I think, which is a film on Netflix. I think it's called that. Not gonna lie, haven't seen the best reviews from people about that film. So we were both like, should we watch it? Yeah, okay. Um, but we both ended up really, really loving it. So if you love a thriller, I would recommend. Um, and then we watched The Pact, which is an ITV, is it ITV or BBC? It's a BBC or an ITV drama and it's just great. You gotta watch it. We binged the entire series in one day and we both cried at the end and it was just, it was an experience. So I've been telling everybody to watch The Pact. So if you're not watching, Mayor of East Town, 
woman in the window or the pact or you just want some new tv recommendations then check those out and if you have seen them let me know what you think right i'm going in with my favorite the mandelic pigmentation corrector night serum by allies of skin this is my go-to when i want to try and get rid of any pigmentation from where spots have been it's a very good nighttime treatment i love it and it always makes my skin feel can't really tell in this light glowy yeah you can't tell <laughs> um so i think that's all i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put that treatment on i don't ever really want to overload my face because sometimes that can make it worse so i'm just gonna stick to the simple just that and um and i'm all done so i'm gonna go and get into my pajamas now and get a semi early night it's actually 10 p.m which is my average bedtime at the minute i hope you enjoyed this vlog bit of a cozy one um and i will see you again very soon <laughs>